people live on farms have been drinking raw milk since the beginning of time. It's normal and healthy. And it tastes better. It's, it's way easier for you to digest. Oh boy, please do not try this. Do not drink raw, unpasteurized milk. Pasteurization was first started in 1889 and became widely adapted in the United States by 1947 and was instituted to reduce the amount of diseases, some fatal, that were transmitted in raw milk while extending its shelf life. Let's look into what this guy is saying. Do they drink raw milk in France? Well, no. Milk has been heavily pasteurized in France for decades. Perhaps no surprise, since it was the French microbiologist Louis Pasteur who patented the process in 1865. France uses the ultra-high temperature of method of pasteurization, bringing milk to 275 degrees, resulting in a very stable shelf life. 95.5% of the milk sold in France is pasteurized with a shelf life of nine to six months. As far as tasting better, being more easily digestible, neither of them have been proven accurate. So, ne discoupons to the temps. Pasteurization has been credited in largely eliminating the risk of getting sick from one of the most important staples in the American diet. In recent years though, a growing number of Americans have been rejecting the pasteurization process in favor of raw, unpasteurized milk, stating it has better taste, better nutritional value, more health benefits. However, these perceived nutritional and health benefits, they've never been proven scientifically. Consuming raw milk can expose you to pathogens such as Listeria, Campylobacter, Salmonella, and E. coli. The E. coli is particularly dangerous because it can cross-contaminate other members of the family. It's particularly dangerous in young children. Even if they didn't drink the raw milk, they could still get the E. coli. And depending on that strain of E. coli, you might develop a hemolytic uremic syndrome. That syndrome could lead to permanent health problems, renal failure, and death. There are several ways that we pasteurize our milk. The most common is the high temperature, short time. We raise the temperature of the milk to 161 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds, then quickly cool it. This kills all of the harmful pathogens and these bacteria. Yet people disagree with pasteurization, saying that the process destroys the nutritional value. Where it might decrease some of the available calcium and some of the available lipids, that decrease is not clinically significant. 